what's up guys welcome to another video i hope everyone is well uh, it's been a while i uh, hope everybody is uh, taking it easy as we go through this pandemic as we all know there's been some you know vaccination all over the world uh, here in the in the UK we already surpassed if I'm not mistaken the 25 million uh, 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 number so 25 million people have been already vaccinated which is very positive uh, yeah so just another video another day it's uh, Monday and uh, just starting the day so uh, I, will, I just wanted to share with you guys more thoughts, more ideas, you know, I have been thinking a lot about what was my 2020, you know, what was the, the year of the COVID, the year of the pandemic and the, the impact, the negative impact that he had in all of our lives. But um, I, I have to be honest that, you know, Besides being, in fact, it was really, really negative and a lot of people lost their lives and it impacted the economy. People lost their jobs and, and it's been really, uh, there's so much we can speak in, in, in terms of the negativity of this uh, virus. When I do the evaluation uh, on a personal level, I must say it wasn't that bad at all actually there was a lot of positive things about 2020 uh, uh, so many things that I had uh, uh, the opportunity to, to, to resolve and to learn and also 2020 put me uh, in a position of really you know just thinking about uh, life and the perspective I think it, it made us all think about life and and how do we, how we see life, how we plan life, the, the future and, and all this. So I must say I, I had some very good positive things happening in 2020. Uh, I, specifically in terms of resolution and, 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 and resolving issues that uh, I had pending for, for, for a few for a few years. And that was really, really uh, a good thing. And the other thing is um, not being perfect because it's a learning curve. It opened my eyes more, and I think I had uh, more opportunities to, to to learn more about investing. You know, I, I, it's, it's a still ongoing thing. And uh, as you as you educate yourself, as you plan, as you prepare, as you as you. Uh, investigate more you, you you learn and I think it was really a, a year of the learning for me I really put in the time and try to learn better and better and more and more about uh, investing uh, specifically in the stock market I'm not there yet I'm not there yet but I'm, I'm you know obviously there's uh, ups and downs it's all it's it's a learning curve, really, but uh, I'm very confident in the, uh, the future because I've started this process. Uh, uh, the results will be uh, much more positive than they are or that they've been. I've seen uh, good results in terms of the effect of uh, um, being consistent and, and really investing and and above all being consistent and being patient uh, although I had my downs and although and it's all it's always the thing uh, when you when you have your downs you don't want these downs to impact or to cause uh, 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 problems not only for you but for for third parties you know so that's the thing you want to avoid and so you know uh, 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 and that's uh, it comes with discipline comes with structure comes with really having the thing uh, well organized and, and above all consistency and, and discipline so uh, I'm learning all that I'm, I'm trying my best in terms of uh, 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 
creating the best uh, uh, strategies, the best platforms, the best structure, really. And I have to say that this also happened in 2020. In a more consistent basis, it happened in, the 20, in 2020. I saw so many uh, uh, potential in terms of just what could happen if you would have done this or that. Uh, uh, just understanding the, 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 the everything. So yeah, my 2020 uh, on a personal level wasn't that bad. There was a lot of positive things happening. And as we are on the third month, the half of the third month of uh, 2021, I really look at the future in... Uh, I didn't, coming to 2021, I didn't want to uh, come with New Year's Eve resolutions, trying and, and, and you know, just uh, promising loads of stuff. No, no, I, I, I knew that uh, what I've learned from 2020 was take it a day at a time, obviously think about future, but no massive planning, no big resolutions, just uh, focus in what you're doing and, and eventually you will get to the to the results that you want so that's that's what I'm trying to do and um, as the months go by it hasn't been easy it's never easy but uh, I I look upon uh, uh, getting to to a better place again with no planning but looking forward and trying to be organized that's i think that's one of the key things is being organized and consistent i just wanted to share my thoughts this morning on the 15th of march uh in in london and uh just sharing my ideas with you i hope you were one of the 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 the, the, the person that also 2020 uh, wasn't that bad for you. I mean, overall, it wasn't wonderful. As I started saying in the beginning, people died, the economy suffered, people lost their jobs, a lot of bad things happened. No one was, was expecting this to, to, to happen. But I hope on a, when you evaluate your year, you could see on a positive side uh, something positive also in terms of reflections, even opportunities, even good things that might have ha had happened in 2020 for you. So without taking more time from you guys, I really thank the time you've taken to, to listen to me. I hope to speak to you soon. Take care. Have a fantastic day. Peace. Bye. Take care, guys.